Hello everybody and welcome back to brand new Dead Overflow video. I am sick again. What a shocker. I don't know what's happening to me at this point, but this video will be short therefore. So let's go with the video. Before we get started, if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Also make sure to get my bug bounty course, which teaches you a lot of stuff about bug bounty and hacking. And also my game hacking course, which also includes some of the example cheats, as well as I have an done online, which you can actually get for free if you buy either of these courses. So make sure to check everything out link is in the description now let's go with the video so the video is about sql injection in django orm via unvalidated underscore connector in q objects that is actually the vulnerability name and it was submitted to django on the september 12th 2025 so let's get into this vulnerability and understand what actually happened and how it arose and why it was actually such a bad vulnerability the critical SQL injection vulnerability exists in the Django's ORM handling of queue objects. Now, if you're wondering what even ORM is, it is an asserting, updating, and deleting data within like the database of SQLite. And it's Django's way of handling SQL queries without actually the developer touching SQL at all. And for example, just everything is going through models and classes within Python, and you never actually touch SQL. As it suggests here that it simplifies database interactions by allowing developers to work with Python classes instead of writing raw SQL queries. Okay, now that you understand what ORM is, the vulnerability actually exists in the internal where node dot as SQL method, which uses unsafe string formatting to inject query connector, for example, and into a raw SQL query. An attacker can control this connector value via the underscore connector key when a queue object is created using dictionary unpacking. That is actually how the dictionary unpacking works within the queue. Uh, this allows the attacker to inject arbitrary SQL into the where clause completely bypassing the ORM parameter parameterization safeguards leading to filter bypass and full data exfiltration blah blah blah. Uh, the root cause of this vulnerability is in this actual file which I managed to find on their discord uh, on their github. Actually it is still exists it's on the line 7, 177th and the actual line is basically you can see that it uses string formatting to parse in the string here and it just uses self.connector and that's why the vulnerability actually exists say for example if the user just passes the connector uh, within the dictionary it will be passed here as, uh, as a format string and essentially you can inject anything you want and it will bypass the ORM's handling and basically get your SQL query in there. The method does not perform any validation or synthesization, as we already discussed, on the self.connector attribute before embedding it into the query. That is actually the problem, and that's why this vulnerability actually existed. But if you're wondering, how actually can this be bad for somebody who actually as a developer? Well, this is an example of a vulnerable application pattern. And let's say this is a filter dictionary. And yeah, it will be actually show the much better example later on, but this is just a like a rough one. The request.json.get would be called and, you know, exfiltrate the filters and then we will call the queue function which is the vulnerable one and it will basically parse the dictionary like so and when it was parsing the dictionary like so and when you call now the filter on let's say user object and pass in the query it can be exploited and if the attacker controls the contents of the filter dictionary, which we just explained, they can insert the underscore connector key with a malicious SQL payload. This payload is then injected directly into the query structure. Okay, and this person actually went in to explain the setup of the actual uh, website DAO or the actual backend code. And you can see that this is the malicious user payload. So if they somehow manage to actually get his into the filters, uh, let's say this is the malicious user payload and you just enter the connector underscore connector and this is the value you basically close the current SQL query and you open up the new like or so basically you escape it and then you open it up again you will execute the one equals one and this is what happens here this is actually uh, how it works so let's say there are two users Alice and root and simulating malicious user payload which we just actually explained so is admin false username non-existent user so non-existent user is admin false however the underscore connector is this meaning that it will return everything and it will enter in the vulnerable function it will enter that and generated sql will be select from this id select so web app user id web app user username is admin from web app user where not web app user is admin or one equals one or web app username is in, in non-existent user so this will actually still be executed and treated as actual sql query even though it has been passed uh here 
as a string, normal string, which should have been treated as a filter, just but it doesn't matter. And the query results will be found user Alice and found user root. And as you can see, the success, the filter was bypassed via dictionary unpacking, the admin was returned. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually what happened on very, very recent. And this is the actual where uh, where node dot as SQL method. And this is a proposed patch to basically just not include and or and that's it so make sure that the connector only is either and or or very actually interesting vulnerability but django stuff handled this very professionally and they told it thank you for a report and it was immediately triaged and and it actually was only like gotten some interesting stuff on the october 14th 2025 when it says thank you for your patience we have confirmed the vulnerability and will request a cve and the django release uh, with this fix is currently planned for november 5th please keep this private until we updated versions are published and these are the patches which are actually here yet still to be assigned with cve and there we go just three days ago we have seen that it has finally been resolved and the new django releases have been patched and obviously that's why we see this vulnerability report as it was disclosed so a very interesting vulnerability that was found on Django and a very interesting point to tell us that even all of the bigger code bases and everything else can still be insecure even if they seem all secure and all protected. You will never know unless you actually dig into this and another reason to learn programming ladies and gentlemen because programming definitely was a very crucial key and very crucial thing here in discovering this issue if the researcher didn't know how to code in django or anywhere else in python then they would never be able to find this vulnerability so again it just shows and proves me right when i say learn programming if you want to be a successful book bounty hunter thank you so much for watching this video make sure to subscribe comment down below like this video stay safe stay responsible and as always peace